Welcome back to another episode of the Casey Campbell podcast. Casey Campbell with you, of course, and we are pleased to be joined by Dean Thompson. And if you haven't heard, he uh, the team announced today, Nice Motorsports announced that Dean will be going full time next season in the NASCAR Camping World Truck Series for Nice Motorsports. Uh, if you're wondering about the car number, to be determined. Still trying to figure out some things over there. Uh, hi, Dean. How's it going? Going good. How about you? Doing well, um, I know you're excited about this announcement. I know we talked to you when this when this deal was announced a few weeks ago that you're going to be running the ARCA race as well as the as well as the um, this week's truck race at Phoenix. But how how did this get put together? Yeah, I mean, um, this got put together around the same time as uh, the Phoenix and ARCA race. Um, we decided that. Uh, to get ready for next season, to get uh, gonna uh, I come at the team and everything that we would do the Phoenix truck race and just get a, get a good feeling for the team. Um, so we uh, figured this out around the same time as we figured out Phoenix and Arca and uh, decided to announce it at a later time. So yeah, I'm just really excited about all of this. It's been a crazy day for me. I uh, was super excited to announce it this morning. I couldn't wait. Woke up super early this morning. I was like, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? What are we going to do? do? Finally did it. And I'm just so excited to share it with everyone. So, Yeah, you probably woke up early because you stayed up late. Walk- well, no, the Ducks were on Sunday. That's right. Um, yeah, we'll get to them in a minute. Um, so overall, I know that you've been trying to work on that. A lot of people are finding out a lot about you this year because a lot of people really didn't know who you were be- coming into this year. I know you've been doing some Arca West stuff with the High Point team, which is basically the Sunrise Ford team um, this season. But to get this full-time trucks deal, what, do, what does that mean to you as you climb your way up up the NASCAR ladder? Man, it just means everything to me, Casey. When I started racing at five years old, it was just a dream of mine. Uh, just watching these guys up to the top, duke it out, and watching on watching on Sundays, hoping to get there someday, racing on Sunday. and. Uh, when I was a, when I was racing quarter midgets at five, I never thought I'd be able to get to this level, top three series. I mean, come on, that's everyone of dreams of at least break through the top three series, and uh, I'm there, and it's just, it's a blessing. It's a blessing. I couldn't do this without the good old, good Lord Almighty, and uh, man, it's just, uh, it just means everything to me. I wish uh, this, this season's all about my grandpa. Uh, I wish I could have been here to uh, share exciting moment with him but um I know he's watching up above so I'm super excited to announce this and uh yeah this one's for him. Dean I know I've gotten to know you a lot this year and I know that you've been through a lot in your life and you know I know that your family your faith is really really important to you um I know you know your girlfriend Sam uh, as well but kind of talking about the people that mend a lot to you. And I know that you were, you were pretty excited in the amount of tweets that you put out there today, but overall, just to, just to thank all the people that have meant to you. What, what, what did, what does that mean? Yeah. I mean, I mean, I couldn't fit a um, lot of people um, that deserve to be thanked into one video. You know, I, I it'd be an hour long video. Um, so, I mean, the list, it just, I, the list is so long for people to thank, and I just every single person who's had, had an impact in my racing career has uh, impacted me in a way that they probably don't know. Um, I mean, yeah, like you said, Sam has been such has been my rock. My family's been there since the beginning, since I was five years old racing those quarter midgets. I mean, good Lord Almighty's been there the whole time, and my grandpa's been a big fan of me this entire time. I've always been there, and. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, there's so many people to thank. I mean, I got to thank my, my old High Point team. I got to thank Thompson Pipe Group, everyone everyone over there. And uh, it's just uh, a lot more to come, a lot more people to thank when we uh, start progressing and getting more into the season, you know? Yeah, for sure. Um, of course, let's focus on this weekend. You've got a big weekend ahead of you. You got the, the truck race. You also have your final arc to start with, uh, with the High Point team on Saturday. This is going to be a big weekend for you. Um, Let's first talk about the truck start. I know you'll be in the 44 this week uh, as Nice returns to the four truck lineup. It's been a while since they've run four trucks, but 
overall, how excited are you to finally get behind the wheel of one of these things and to have practice and qualifying back? Oh my gosh, dude, I can't tell you how excited I am. I mean, I, I've watched these trucks all season. I mean, just beginning to end. I don't think I missed a race just watching them and just watching them wheel those things and watching my buddy Carson race week in and week out is just, it's so jealous. I want to get in one of those things, you know, and uh, I'm super excited to have the opportunity to this weekend. And I think it's going to be a really, I think it's a really good, uh, really good opportunity for me to race Phoenix because I'm going to have practice and qualifying. I'm going to be able to, uh, I'm going to be able to feel it out before I get on the racetrack. I mean, these rookies who have been just going out there and racing this season, major props to them, major, major, major props to them. Um, I don't think fans really realize, I think, I'm, I'm sure people do, but I don't think a good majority of the fans realize how difficult that is to get in a truck and just go, you know? I mean, it, I did that once at Colorado this year to just get in the car and go because of practice and qualifying got rained out. Yeah. And that was difficult. That wasn't easy. You know, I mean, I, I, I was super excited for Colorado, but when that happened, I was like, wow, I'm just, just going to have to figure it out, you know, and major props to those guys. So I'm super thankful. We're going to have practice and qualifying. I'm going to be able to feel it out before I actually get going in the race. So, uh, but yeah, I mean, I, I know these, these baseball sports guys bring a good product to the track and, uh, can't wait to show it off. Yeah. So I know that also you're making your truck debut, but you're also racing in your final start um, for the high point team. What's that going to be like racing with those guys who have been with you all year? Yeah, man. I mean, this is my last start uh, full time with them. However, we still are probably going to do maybe a couple races next year. We're still thinking about it. But man, those boys have been so good to me. I, I can't say enough good things about them. And then they've been there for me the past three and a half years, you know, they've it's been such a wild ride to race with them and to, uh, to share all these life memories. I'll, I'll keep forever. You know, I mean, they, these guys have been like family to me and it's not, it's not goodbye. It's see you soon. You know, I'm not leaving them. I'm going to, I'm going to, they're always going to be family to me, you know, because they've, They've just been so, I can't, Casey, I just can't tell you how good they've been to me. And um, it's just so much fun racing with them all the time. It's always good. Never a dull moment with those guys. Uh, from late models to ARCA to super lates, we're always having a good time at the track. And, you know, we've been through so much ups and downs, thick and thin, and they've always stuck with me every single race. So, um, to have my last start full time with them is gonna is gonna be a heart wrencher, but um, I'm excited to see what the future holds. Yeah, for sure, it'll be a it'll be a fun race. Thirty six cars and seven guys going for the championship. So try to navigate all that. Um, oh yeah. So I know your last question for you. I know you're a big hockey fan. How do you think the Ducks are? How do you think your hometown Ducks are gonna do doing this year? Casey, okay, so they had a good start, but like. I don't know. They got too many young guys. And I don't say too many young guys. I mean, they're rebuilding. But they had the start of the season good. Now they're losing game after game. And it bums me out. I want them to do better. Um, but I've also started to get into, like, football. Haven't yeah. been a big football guy my entire life. I'm starting to watch the Dallas, uh, Dallas Cowboys. Yep. Man, they're doing good. They're yep. doing real good. <laughs> I'm all starting to become a Dallas Stars fan because I just moved to Texas. And, uh, yeah. of course, every team I like this year and last year and years prior has done awful. I used to be a Red Wings fan, got awful. Ducks fan, awful. Thank goodness the Dallas Cowboys are doing good. You know, just hockey teams for me, I've always done bad when I watch them. I don't know. Maybe I need to pick a good team to root for. Yeah, sounds sounds like a plan. Uh, we'll obviously let you know what what when that when that will come about. But anyway, Dean Thompson, congratulations on the news that you're going to be going full time with Nice Motorsports next year in the Truck Series, and good luck this weekend at Phoenix uh, in the in your in your first career truck race as well as uh, the Arca West race on Saturday. Thank you so much.